everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing the electric guitar parts for Something by the Beatles. We're going to be doing some of the rhythm parts and the solo. So let's get cracking. Okay, so starting with the intro lead part, first finger plays on the 10th fret of the second string. And then your third finger is going to play on the 12th fret, but you're going to pre-bend the note so that it's what you would hear on the 13th fret, which is a C, so. And then release the note. And then go a half step, half step, half step. And then give that some vibrato. Okay, so that's the intro. And then we get into, um, so I'm not showing you the chords underneath that. If you want to know what the chords are underneath that, go to my acoustic guitar tutorial and that will show you how to play the chords underneath what that's happening there. Even though there is also an electric guitar part there, but it's pretty much the same. So, so now we're just gonna go to a C, C bar chord. So starting with the C, and what you want to do is you want to flatten your finger like this and collapse the knuckle so that you can hear the first string that you're playing with the first finger here. This is a C major 7 chord. Second finger on the third string, third finger on the fourth, and fourth finger on the second string. So just take off the second finger. Tracks me like no and then so all he's doing there is an F chord. And I think I hear him going. It's just then you're just kind of raking up on the first and the second string. first finger and the second finger on the second string and the third string. So come play six and up on the first string and then take these two and slide. And you can just play both of them at the same time. It's just a little double stop and slide. So. is comes from this A minor bar chord shape but we're just playing the triad then the A minor major 7 chord is the first finger goes just here so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be keeping these two always the same and we're just going to be keep moving the first string finger down one so then we go then you want to replace three and four and then put the first finger down to the third fret. Okay, and then we're gonna go down. That was for the A minor seven. And then we're gonna go down one, just take your first finger and just slide down to the second fret. Okay, and then we're back to So that whole section. second verse is exactly the same except when you do this little lick at the end you're going to go to the 14th fret instead of the 13th 
Okay, that's the only difference there. Okay, now doing this next middle eight section, um, we'll just go over the chords first. You need an A, we'll do the fifth fret, just a regular A shape, and then we're going to go to a C sharp minor chord. Okay, it's just like a B minor, except instead of the root being a B, it's now a C sharp on the fourth fret. So you have the second string, the fourth, and the third string with your fingers. And then we're going to go to an F sharp minor chord. So we'll just play it right here in the second fret. And you have an E minor shape here with these fingers on the fifth and the fourth string and barring the second fret. And then we're just going to play an A here. Let's just play the A power chord and then a D and then a G. And then we'll do a little walk down. So we'll get to that in a second. So what you're doing is kind of an, an upbeat on the chord. So the strum is gonna be one and two and, okay? So let's start on the A, sorry. One. I don't know. And then on the G, just go ahead and strum right on the downbeat. That's our little walk down. So you're going to hit the A, A power chord, and then your third finger is going to go to the fourth fret for the G sharp, and then walk down. So that whole section sounds like you're asking me, will my love grow? I don't know. I together with what the acoustic guitar was playing. Okay, now we'll get into the solo. solo let's break that down going to the fourth string on the 12th fret you're going to take your first finger and hammer the third finger and then first finger goes to the third string so you have and then end on the third finger on the fourth string so you have and give that some vibrato okay the next lick you're gonna do the same thing you're gonna hammer but this time your first finger is going to bend. And some people like to bend downwards, but that hurts my finger more. Um, the first finger is kind of a, a tough one to bend with because it, it can be kind of sensitive because there is less flesh on the tip of the finger. So it's, it's hitting more of your bone. So first finger bends can be kind of a pain, but um, I feel better bending up. You might like to bend down, so you can experiment with that. But you want to a full step bend, so you have to hit that that pitch, and then landing on the third finger on the fourth string. Now you can jump instead, but to get that to sound really smooth, you'd have to practice that an awful lot. It's possible, but that that's a lot of jumping, so. See if you can just, um, I mean, first finger bends are, are a thing, so you really want to try and get good at them, and right, this is a good opportunity, so. So you want to bend up, cut the note, and the second time, you want to release it, so you hear the release. The first time, you don't want to hear the release. You want to hear, and then. Now the next lick is. 
doing the same thing. Hammer, hammer, play, and then take your third finger, slide to the 15th fret from the 12th to the 15th. And then your first finger on the second string, and then you're going to do short, long, and do it short just by putting your pick right back on the, on the string right away. And then we're going to jump with our third finger where our sec first finger was to the second string, 13th fret. We're gonna do a pre-bend. So you wanna bend up a whole pitch to that note. Then you're going to come up to the 15th fret. And this one is not a pre-bend. You're going to bend and release. So that part sounds like. Now you're going to slide with your third finger from 12 to 14. Come down with your second finger on the second string on, on uh, 13. And then go to the third finger on the fourth string and slide from 12 to 14. And then short, long, and then slide. But then at the last second, move your first finger up to the fourth string, down to the seventh fret. And slide, come up to the seven. Pick seven, go to nine, slide back. Now take your third finger and slide up to 12. And then again, we have another short long on the third string. So we have. Okay, now take your third finger and go to the second string on the 10th fret and pre-bend. Now you land here, pull off, and then slide to six. And then take your third finger and slide just kind of from around here, wherever you are. Go to the 12th fret, 11, 10. Pull off, slide, slide, and pick all those notes. Now in the next part, we have a lot of little bends. We're going to pre-bend the whole bend. And then what we're going to do is just that. We're, we're going bending up, releasing, bend, release, bend, release. And you do it four times. So you have one, two, three, four. to the first finger on the fifth fret. So you have. So count. One, sorry. One, two, three, four, pull off. So you do that whole thing twice. So you didn't do it again. And then the next time, you're just gonna do it twice. So the pre-bend, one more bend, and then take your second finger and slide it to the ninth fret. Take your second finger and slide it to the ninth fret. And then your first finger on the second string. Second finger, get it ready. And then you're going to take your third finger on the 10th fret of the first string and bend it, whole step bend, and release. A hammer, pick. Now from here. Replace. Same thing. But this time you just end on the C. And then that's it. That's all she wrote.